good evening everybody uh, this uh, term adumbration or cervical burnout it is a phenomena which always trick us and we usually misinterpret it as cervical caries or as uh, proximal caries so through this uh, very small uh, presentation i would like to differentiate between the three and hopefully it is going to make the things clear for you so first of all let's see what is this adumbration or cervical burnout is so actually this cervical burnout is present between the cemento enamel junction and the alveolar crest this area it is a diffuse radiolucency with some ill-defined borders and there is a presence of the edge of root which i am going to show you after enlarging though this area appears radiolucent but the continuity of the edge of root is always present this is a very clear cut uh, you can say a diagnostic feature that we will say that it is just normal tooth where there is a, an artifact present and that artifact is known as the cervical burnout there are no caries over here but still whenever in doubt clinical evaluation is mandatory how it occurs what this phenomena so this is the tooth and this is the alveolar crest the area between the uh, what do you call it uh, crown the enamel of the crown and the alveolar crest that area is cementum which is not that radio opaque first of all this is radio opaque this is radio opaque the enamel is radio opaque and the bone is radio opaque so when the light it or the x-ray it passes through the three-dimensional structure which is our tooth things are something like this the central beam and other beams so they do not get absorbed in this uh, convexity or in this area and that is why they appear slightly radiolucent as compared to rest of the tooth so let's see i have taken this word by word from white and pharaoh's oral radiology principles and interpretation cervical burnout produces an artifact that mimics a carious lesion near the cemento enamel junction area of the tooth when the x-ray beam meets the convex proximal surface of the tooth those x-ray photons that pass almost tangentially through the tooth surface they see less to the structure then those photons that, that pass deeper through the tooth these ones deeper through the tooth they see less so uh, this area of convexity is commonly located apical to the cemento enamel junction near the normal height of the alveolar crest normal height means where the normal height should be even if there is periodontitis and the bone has been lost so where before that periodontitis the normal height was present in that area you will see cervical burn out the thinner tooth structure here absorbs fewer x-rays consequently the area appears relatively more radiolucent on an image Cervical burnout can also be seen in multi-rooted teeth when roots are more buckly positioned and they do not overlap perfectly with a lingual or palatal root in a mesiodistal direction. Now, cemental or the root caries, what happens in that? Here we can see the continuity of the root is lost and this is the carious lesion now the difference between the proximal caries and the cervical caries proximal caries will always be present in the enamel 
वेयर एज सर्वाइकल केयर इज एंड सर्वाइकल बर्न आउट विल बी एपिकल टू दिमेंटो एनामल जंक्शन these uh, uh, proximal caries they give the appearance if they are only present in enamel they will give the appearance of a triangle whose base will be towards the outer side and whose apex will be towards the dentino enamel junction if they are only in enamel if they are continued like in this case in the dentine then another triangle will form whose apex is going to be towards the pulp and base is going to be towards the dentino enamel junction so in order to see the proximal caries we have to concentrate on this rectangular area above the crest of the gingiva above the cemento enamel junction but close to the contact area either very close to the contact area or slightly apical to the contact area so here we can see a schematic diagram which indicate the area to examine to best detect the proximal surface caries view the area where two adjacent teeth they contact apical down to the area where the gingival margin would most likely be present this boxed area